Good afternoon again, everyone. Uh, this is Tomo from Imaki Australia. Uh, today I would like to go over the webinar regards to 330 series, uh, the product guide to explain quickly what's the benefit and uh, you know features about a 330 series in general. Also, how the 330 series new technology uh, new technology gives you the uh, capability to you know the balance the high speed and high quality together so 330 series uh, has just been released last month from australia and we are currently having a couple of uh, installation going on for the uh, you know some production customers uh, again, uh, I'd like to inform that the product is ready in uh, Australian market. Uh, for uh, the both JV330-160 series and CJV330-160 series. Unfortunately, 130 series has a low demand in Australian market, so it's only uh, Indian only. So it's uh, you know, the built-in, the, the uh, built-for-order base. So we always, have a sp uh, uh, we always have a stock for 160 size. All right, uh, let me just uh, keep speaking, uh, keep speak, uh, skipping uh, what's not required for the quick explanations. Uh, regards to a concept of a 330 series, uh, the number three is known as the uh, Mimaki's uh, regent uh, number of the, uh, the product name. So since our first release of JV3 uh, 20 years ago, so we have been beating the uh, in the market, uh, the reputation and the existence in uh, globally with uh, you know, the name with number three. So JV33, JV300 and JV300 plus, which was released on 2019. So recently we have released a new three family, which is a 330 series of JV and CJV series in order to provide the, uh, you know, the good balance of uh, speed and uh, quality of uh, you know, the printing to the, uh, the uh, existing sign display market. So besides the uh, quality and the speed of uh, quality and the speed, which 330 series provides, uh, there are new optional item, which comes standard with uh, 330 series. The first one is the XY slitter, and the second one is a media changer to give you the, uh, the additional property and the benefit of the machine functionalities. So product available is CJV330-160 and JV330-160 in Australia and New Zealand market. So the difference between two models, the, you know, the black machine, which is CJB330, is a print and cut machine. So it has a printing capability and a control cut capability. So don't please don't mix up with a cut is not a slitting system, but a cut is a you know, print and cut uh, like CJB, as a CJB3 does. And the white machine is a JB330, which is a print only. So as I outlined, uh, the print head it has got uh, 330 series has a new new technologies print head. So it's not identical with any of Mimaki's existing machine. So which provides the 40% uh, uh, more speed comparing to the current three, uh, 300 series, which is up to uh, the the 40 square meters of the uh, uh, 40 square meters per hour the consistent productivity of a banner printing. So let me explain the other outfits. From the left side, we have a new ink supply unit. So not a cartridge unit existing on the top of the machine. So we've got this barking system comes as a standard. So it's a pump feeding system from, a, you know, the cart uh, from an ink supply unit to the machine internally. So we only have a two liters of a ink bladder supplies is available for this machine because this machine is supposed to be printing minimum of a one roll of the vinyl, one, one roll of the media uh, per every day. So you should be able to consume the 16 liters of the ink in one set within two months. 
On the front side, we have a new XY3 data. It's a standard comes with all 330 series, which provides you the capability of XY3 thing, the horizontal and vertical slitting from existing knife on the X uh, on the XY3 data unit. So finally, the Mimaki provides the, you know, the bright LED light inside of the machine. So while printing, you can clearly see uh, the print quality on the fly from uh, you know, printing surface. So you don't need to wait for the print. It's progressed on the uh, front side of the material, a uh, front side of the printer for confirmation. Uh, we have a cross type wiper in a maintenance station rather than the, uh, the, the rubber wipe, uh, the wiper rubber. So this will prevent the uh, ink spitting around the cleaning, uh, the cleaning station, the capping station. So the current 300 machine and other you know, UV printer as well, the, you know, there is a wiper rubber who scrapes the surface of the uh, print head to clean the, to clean the ink on the wiper sequence. So which gives you the additional uh, speed of the, uh, you know, the ink, you know, goes around the capping station, builds up quickly for the extra time for the maintenance. However, the cross wiping is almost wiping and absorbing the ink drip from the print head to avoid the ink spreading out around the capping station. The media changer on the back side, which uh, allows you to set the three rolls of a media uh, in order for you to save the time for additional operator to come in and supporting the operator to set the media during the day. So you can set uh, up to three material on the, at the same time, and you can have a minimum power to change the media from one roll to other roll. The raster link seven is a uh, you know, comes uh, comes. Uh, standard, which is our newest um, the RIP software from Mimaki Original. Well, regards to print head, which this machine has, it is a 30% longer, uh, the you know more length comparing to JV300 model. JV300 model has a one inch long uh, print head. However, 330 series has a newly developed print head, which is a 1.3 uh, 1.33 inch which is 30% longer, with a two staggered. So totally it's a uh, 0.6 inch longer comparing to the entire array of the uh, JV300. Not only that, but also the, uh, you know, the number of the nozzle inside of a single print head is more than double comparing to JV300 head. So JV300 head comes in as 180 nozzles times uh, eight channels. So, which makes a total of 14, 1,440 nozzles. The new developed print head has a more than double, which is a 3,200 3, nozzles per individual print head, which mainly, uh, you know, the support to develop, uh, you know, the machine for 40% faster, uh, the 40% faster printer. The ink set it supports the BS4 ink or SS21 ink. If you'd like to set the you know, up to eight colors, the choose SS21 because it supports light cyan, light magenta, and light black, also orange for you know the more uh, the color productivity on the color gamut, wider color gamut. If you'd like to minimize the running cost of the production. We also recommend BS4 ink. BS4 ink only supports CMYK. However, you can put a double CMYK set, which provides the which uh, won't sacrifice the print speed, and you can get the maximum capability of a printing speed. Here, let me explain what makes the uh, better and uh, better quality and fa in a faster print mode on three, uh, 330 series. So this page explains that the, how accurate that uh, the JV330 can, you know, the place the individual dots in the placement of the media. So comparing to the uh, our, you know, other standard products, because uh, you know the construction of the leg and the stand, also the you know, surface of the platen is much, much, much stronger and uh, you know, more accurate comparing to existing model. 
So not only a capability of the printhead, but also you know the being a stronger, uh, being stronger, the construction of the entire uh, entire machine. You can we can minimize the uh, you know the accuracy of dot placement of you know the both y directional and x directional from our existing product. So the line straightness of the entire print uh, the entire print dot on the you know from the from entire print head is much uh, much more accurate comparing to existing model so this is one of the reason why uh, jb330 can make the you know faster and accurate uh, the printing also the uh, you know the the, uh, the type of the motor is actually more than twice stronger than the uh, you know our you know existing product also, you know, comparing to a competitive product, so which makes the you know less vibration of the you know the printhead scan. The other technology is you know the besides having the you know the more number of the nozzle and the longer size of the the wider size of the printhead, so we have a new printing technology which is called the MWDT, so which is Mimaki Weaving Dot Technology. What it does is the uh, you know the by looking at the you know the the, the conventional uh, the uh, the existing product which is JB three hundred, which is a two staggered print head. What's happening is the uh, because you know the, all the technician is told to do the accurate adjustment. However, uh, because of the machine's constructions, the accuracy of the staggered adjustment cannot be perfectly accurate because uh, ac uh, across the pattern. During the you know, scanning, the you will have the uh, um, um, there's a point of the uh, point in the pattern which the staggered uh, staggered printhead adjustment the losing the accuracy by twisting of the uh, mechanism across the pattern, which means the uh, in somewhere of the uh, printing you will have a case that the you know, white space will exist more than the other side. So, which is causing the you know the significant uh, the line and the stripes, what we call banding from the printing. On JB three thirty series, what it is is the you know not only a print head, uh, you know, print head uh, the size, also the amount of the dot you can print on one pass, also the how you control the head, the second print head comparing to a first print head. So the second print head is working to kind of uh, the compensate or support there to fill up the white, you know, white area from the fast scanning, you know, fast print head. So this is kind of the weaving uh, the control uh, of the and how to um, the allocate the you know, secondary dot from head to over the fast uh, the fast the dot from a fast print head. So this result, uh, this you know, control in the result, you will get much more accurate and much more consistent the you know, solid colors as an output. So comparing to uh, you know, the other competitors, 150 DPI print head in our solvent ink, uh, the eco solvent, uh, in eco solvent competitive printer, uh, we are able to print more than double DPI on the uh, printing uh, printing in one pass. So you can get the uh, more solid color as identical result in, uh, with, uh, without inconsistency in a uh, faster speed. The XY3 term, if you already have uh, idea and experience of the operation, it is very easy. Uh, operation once you finish, you know, the one once you set up the media completely, um, you can go to the you know, my YouTube channel to look at the uh, uh, you know, how you set up the media. So, during the media setup for the uh, slitter, you will have a chance that the you know, you will lose probably you know, 1.5 meter to two meters of the media. So, just be understood that the uh, you will have a uh, you know, the media loss. You know, in order to set up and use the uh, you know the Srita. So Srita is not like a single day it's an everyday use, but you know it is for the more production printing for the poster and such application. So without using the XY Srita, the media just goes straight in front of the Srita and reach to the uh, uh, the take up system. 
So you will have much less waste of the uh, media uh, comparing to uh, use of uh, XY Srita and uh, without use of XY Srita. So Srita is just one of the idea of the how you can prevent or avoid the cost for buying the uh, an additional, you know, the slitting unit. The manual slitter unit you can probably get between ten to fifteen thousand dollars in Australia with a uh, high brand. Also the um, also the uh, an automatic slitter you might be able to get between uh, thirty thousand dollars to forty thousand dollars of investment. However, the you know if you buy JB three thirty, it comes as a standard, so you can do a uh, you know, print and slit on the fly. So how to use XY Slita? Um, you only need the you know, rastering 7, the version to support 333s. So there is an you know, automatic XY Slita menu to tell the you know, Ripsoft to tell rastering where you want to cut, you know, how much inside or outside you want to cut, you know, along, uh, you know, along from the uh, image border. And the raster link will automatically put the you know, crop mark for the XY Slita system. So XY Slita has got their fixed position sensor and a knife, you know, which you know runs through uh, the um, the up and down, the you know uh, down and up uh, by a media feeding. Also the automatic slit, automatic knife, which goes across the you know the media from left to right side. So as a machine standard, it comes with only one pair of the X Rita optional. So as in a photo, if you would like to, you know, cut off the you know, two pieces of the poster you know, side by side, you will need to purchase the another set of the uh, you know Srita knife and holder, which is OPT J0532, uh, which is around uh four to five hundred dollars as a cost. Also um, that it supports up to uh, 4,000 meters of a uh, usage for the uh, you know, X knife, and uh, it's available. Uh, the spare knife is available as, as a supply. The media changer as is, so it's more to the you know, sales discussion for how much you know, uh, how much the operator wants to you know save their cost for you know getting another operator during the day. So there's not much uh, explanation for the technical side. The cross wiper, uh, comparing to a rubber wiper, the one piece of a cross wiper might work between two to three months. So and uh, the cost of a one wiper, of course, more uh, expensive comparing to a rubber wiper. So you need to you know consider about the uh, you know the how much you do the you know the uh, head cleaning. Head cleaning is, you know, simulated for, you know, the up to four times a day in order to uh, calculate the three months of the, uh, you know, the wiper consumption time. So this is a customer's replaceable. So it, in, it takes, you know, the one step comparing to rubber wiper. However, the amount of uh, waste, you know, happening du uh, during the you know, wiper usage uh, for a capping station becomes much less. All right, that's pretty much for the uh, um, explanation regards to JB330. Uh, um, for technical, uh, for service team, you will be, you know, you will be, you know, hearing from our technical uh, department for the, uh, you know, technical training for 330 series uh, shortly. Thanks for listening for uh, JB330. Let me stop our recording for now.